Example 11.9, rotational inertia of a rod about an axis to its center. Calculate the rotational inertia of a uniform. What does that mean? That means that the mass or the inertia is evenly distributed right through. So if I look at a differential uh, segment here or there or there, a dm there or a dm there, um, those infinitesimal inertias are the same wherever you look, wherever you sample. As I move from left to right, it's the same. Okay? So that's what uniform means. So this means that my lambda would be a constant. It's constant. So it doesn't, it doesn't change my... Um, My dm, the, my change in mass, doesn't change for, for every dx. It's the same. Okay? Alright, so, what do we have? We have a, this rod which has a length l and an inertia m. Okay, and there's the axis. So, there's the rod. We choose our x-axis passing through the rod and uh, that becomes the point of rotation. <clears throat> so because the rod is a uniform one-dimensional object, I can choose equation 1144. Um, so the first thing we need is lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is m over l. It is your... it's the same as dm over dx. Okay. So the inertia per unit length is the mass divided by the total length, m over l. And we know that this is a constant. It's a constant because it's uniform. So it is possible, guys, to have this as a function of x. So if there's an x in this equation, mx, or mx squared, or whatever, mx whatever, then it means that your your inertia per unit length is changing. As you move from one side of the object to the other, the inertia is changing. It means that more inertia is distributed to one side than to the other side. So, uh, yeah, like, uh, for example, um, a hammer or a cricket bat, right? More inertia is on, is, is the inertia is not evenly distributed. Okay, but in this case it's a constant. So there we go, we've got that lambda and then we're integrating from L over minus, from minus L over 2 to L over 2. Those are our integration boundaries and we end up with this guy. Okay, so I hope this is uh, an interesting example, and I think we'll try to do 11.10 in the next one, where um, in this case, we will, the, rod, uh, the axis of rotation was going through the center. Okay, so we were integrating then from minus r to plus r. So it's minus L over 2 to plus L over 2. So that's what the answer is. So if we're looking for the rotational inertia about the center, this is what it equals. Okay.